have you heard? Did you see? There's a new feature in town on Cricut Design Space and it's called Offset. The Offset feature lets you create perfect outline borders on your images. And today I am breaking it down to make it really simple to show you how to use that feature with your printable images to create a really easy and really pretty greeting card. Hey there, I'm Amber Kemp Gristel, the founder of Yayday Paper Co., where every month we release bundles of stationery, stickers, greeting cards, craft projects, and more, all as a part of our affordable monthly subscription. Here on our YouTube channel, I'm sharing lots of ways that you can get creative with a tool you probably already have, your printer. I know I say it every time, but just a reminder, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so I can stop talking about it and we can get to the fun stuff. Today, I'm breaking down the newest feature at Cricut Design Space, the offset feature. Lots of people are excited about this and lots of people are like, what the heck is an offset feature? Well, I'm gonna break it down and I love props, so I'm breaking out the props to explain the offset feature. An offset border is a border around an entire image that is the same distance from the edge of the image at all points. Let me show you what I mean. This is an offset image. This border is the same distance from every point along the edge of that pink heart. Now, sometimes people think, well, can't I just make the heart bigger and create that as an offset? No, sister, you cannot, because this is what you end up with. It doesn't look terrible, but it's just not an offset image. You see how some points are closer to the original pink heart and some points are further? That's why the offset image is really cool. It's especially helpful for more detailed or more complicated images that can get really wonky if you just make the image bigger. Today, I'm showing you how to use this Cricut offset feature with printable images. So let's get started and dive into Cricut Design Space. In Cricut Design Space, click Upload from the left menu bar then click Upload Image and click Browse. Select the file you want to work with and then click Open. The file will appear in Cricut Design Space. Click Complex and then Continue. Click Continue again and then select it as a print then cut image. The image will now appear in your upload library. Click on it and then click Insert Images. It'll appear on your canvas, but it'll be really big. Use the size panel at the top menu bar to resize the image. You'll notice on the right side of the screen though, I still have that caution icon, which means this image is still too large for the print then cut feature. I'll resize it a bit until that icon disappears. Now with the image selected, head up to the offset panel. First, I'm gonna show you how not to do this. If I click apply at this point, my image will have an offset border, but you can see they're all welded together. That's not what I want. I want to have individual offset borders around each sentiment. To do this, we'll need to separate these sentiments before creating our offset border. To separate the sentiments, grab a square shape and extend it until it covers all of the sentiments. Now, drag your cursor so that both the square and the images are selected. Click Slice, and then delete the outer portion of the sliced image. Now, click on only the gray portion of the image on your screen. Head down to the bottom corner and click on Contour. This will allow us to remove all but one of the outlines from the sliced image. You can see here that only the bottom left image is the one that is selected to remain. Now drag your cursor over everything and select Slice once more. You'll now see that that Happy Mother's Day image is separated from all the others. You can delete the gray image at this point because you don't need it anymore. And now we're gonna repeat that process until we've separated all four of these sentiments. Now, with everything separated, we can get back to creating our offset border. Click on the offset panel, then use the slider to determine the width of the offset border you want to create. You also want to turn off the weld offsets feature. This will make sure each of our offset borders is separated. Now, we're ready to click apply. Now, you'll see those perfect offset borders appear on your canvas. 
I'm moving all of my sentiment images over to the side so that I can work individually with each of the offset borders. You'll notice over in the Layers panel that each of our offset borders is actually set as a print and cut image. We don't want that. Go up to the Operation panel at the top of your screen and select it as a basic cut. Now we'll be able to cut this out from regular cardstock. Now we're finished setting up this project and we're ready to click Make It. Click Continue, then send this project to your printer. I always like to use the System Dialog option. This way I have more control over how I print things from my printer. I'm going to set this to print from my rear feed and select Best so it looks great. I'm printing on Koala 66 pound photo mat paper. Load the paper onto the mat, turn the dial to cardstock, then click the flashing C. Once we've cut out the printables, it's time to place our cardstock on the mat to cut the offset border layer. Load the paper into the machine and let it do its thing. Now it's time to assemble these cards. To create the base of the card, I took one of our pattern papers and printed it onto this double-sided photo mat paper from Canon. It's 7x10 and it already has a score line through it, so it's like the easiest way in the world to make a greeting card. Use a tape runner to add adhesive to the back of the printable layer. Then place it on top of the offset border. I love the way this sentiment pops against that offset border. To adhere the sentiment to the front of our card, I'm using some pop dots. This is a great way to add more dimension. You're done! This is a great way to rethink all of those printable sentiments in a way that makes them pop against the background of your greeting card. Now, go forth and make all the cards, but first, subscribe, hit the notification button, and make sure to visit me over at yaydaypaper.com. And it's called Offset. It's called Offset, and I don't know what else to say. All as a part of our, why can't I say the word affordable? It's affordable! It's downright cheap. Every month we release, <laughs> now I have the word affordable in my brain. Today I'm using, today, 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 I'm gonna learn my life.